All right, hello, my name is Justin Brown and this is a uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma diary number six. Um, it has been, uh, I think about six weeks, five, six weeks since the last update. So here we go with another one. I actually don't think I have a whole lot to say on this one. It's been kind of status quo, just a couple things uh, here and there. Uh, the last video I made, we were at the 50% mark, or halfway done with all the chemos. We're now at the 75% mark done, uh, at least after tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be uh, chemo treatment number nine, um, and that means I'm down to the final four, the last two cycles. Uh, tomorrow starts cycle number five. So four more, uh, four more poisonings, and hopefully this whole process is over and done with. Um, uh, the last cycle, cycle four, um, was very interesting. Uh, you know, as I say with chemotherapy, um, the chemo stays in your system the same amount of time, but the side effects are cumulative, which means that the side effects get worse over time. So I've kind of, uh, I think I've got myself into a pattern now of what the side effects are gonna be. My body is uh, adjusting and tolerating, I don't know if tolerating is the right word, but my body is definitely adjusting to the chemo and uh, kind of putting me in the same position, uh, at least for the last, cycle, cycle and a half of what I can experience during the side effects. Um, uh, so I'm uh, actually at a point now um, where things aren't, uh, aren't too horrible. I have, uh, at least over this last cycle, I've had more good days than bad days, which has been awesome because up until this point, I definitely had more bad days than good days. I'm down to only a, a really about a five day stretch at each chemo cycle where I am uh, basically dead man walking uh, or not walking at all and just lying in bed moaning all day. Um, so that is uh, that is definitely a plus because before I was down for up to 10, 12 days uh, and then only having one day, day and a half of feeling okay before the next, uh, the next poisoning. But now uh, I'm doing okay, uh, at least uh, after I get to, uh, well, chemo's done on Thursday, so usually about Tuesday I'm, I'm up and I'm moving again, which is uh, definitely better than not getting up and moving again until the following Saturday. Uh, so thankful for that. A um, month ago, uh, after the last video, met with the doctor and uh, decided that the, uh, the neuropathy that I was having in my hands and feet was too great to continue with the experimental brintuximug drug since that was uh, the, the primary cause of, uh, of neuropathy. Not that the other ones can't cause it, but this one definitely does. So opted to stop taking that, um, especially after the results of the previous PET scan. Um, and just go with the AVD uh, chemicals, uh, which uh, is kind of par for the course for that point anyway after that scan result. Um, so the, after that point, the neuropathy in my, um, in my toes has gone away. I still got it in my fingers and my hands a little bit here, um, but uh, it kind of gets worse after each chemo treatment, um, but uh, then it kind of goes back to this kind of stagnant state where it's in my, my fingernails and my fingertips and things like that kind of feels a little bit like you're retaining water um uh, i guess that's the kind of the closest i can come to where it gets kind of tight and all that but then it just kind of goes to, to pins and needles uh, the non-hurting kind of numbness uh so that's that um uh, so haven't had that uh for the last month it's just been the avd um I was kind of hoping that I'd get a break on the side effects a little bit, but not so much. Uh, uh, granted, I am up and moving around days before, but I tell you what, those those days that uh, um, that I am down, I am really down. Uh, it's more than just feeling uh, crappy at this point and, and feeling a little sick. Uh, the accumulation of the, the chemotherapy effects uh, just sweeps the leg and puts you down and, uh, and takes you out. Um, so... Uh, Four more to go. That's what I keep telling myself. Four more. After tomorrow, it'll be three more to go. Um, but wanted to make this video now instead of uh, after the next couple days because then you see me looking like a zombie and that's not uh, not the way I want this to look. I'm trying to put a more more positive spin on it. Um, so what else? Uh, okay, so after the, the last video or before it, I had that uh, second PET scan where it said that the primary disease was virtually gone. I um, uh, don't remember the exact terminology they used, but then they had the, uh, the, the controversy with the radiologist wrote uh, in his report saying I could potentially have a secondary disease because of some bigger lymph nodes in my neck and blah, 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 blah. So um, had another PET scan done. Um, 
uh, last week. The uh, doctor wanted to kind of do that for peace of mind and, and just to make sure that everything was still going okay and to make sure that the lymph node problem in my neck uh, was gone. Uh, and that was the result. The result, uh, actually, I should say that I, I mentioned the radiologist's comments to his assistant that actually did the scan and everything. And boy, did that place get defensive quickly. Um, and uh, yeah, I won't even go into everything this guy was saying, but this guy completely flipped a switch. Uh, like this, maybe this guy's his, his best friend or his boyfriend or something like that when you're talking about the radiologist. And man, did he flip a switch and. Uh, uh, became extremely defensive to, to what uh, the comments had been made about the, the unprofessionalism of the radiologist. It was kind of funny to watch. Um, but that's not here, there, there. It's just kind of funny comment. Uh, anyway, radiologist comments this time basically said everything is good. Um, I am essentially cancer-free. The, the PET scan cannot detect any sign of a malignant um, problem throughout my body. Uh, again, PET scans only go so far. They can't, they, 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 they look for group stuff that is grouped together when you have a whole lot of it, and it just can't see anything. My body's completely clear. Doesn't mean that there's still not some cancer cells in there. It just can't see them, which is, again, excellent news to get two of those in a row. Um, but it still means I have to continue the last four chemos and, and blast my body with this poison uh, just to make sure they've gotten everything. Um, so it's, uh, it is kind of hard to go back and to, to be told, hey, you're clear, um, and uh, have to go four more times and know that I'm going to get knocked on my ass four more times. Um, but uh, you know, power through it, get it done. Um, Try to keep your chin up, even though it's uh, it's really hard to do a lot of the time, um, and uh, you know, just hope that uh, the end of this is is coming soon. So, uh, met with the doctor the other day. He is uh, very pleased at how the results are. Uh, myself as well. I'm going to be one of those people that has survived this, and uh, they're looking, you know, doing everything they can towards cure and no relapse. Which obviously time will just tell with that. Um, but that is it. Um, I don't really think I have anything else to, to mention. Um, see them putting on some weight, and it's uh, kind of miserable. You know, those steroids that they give you and all that is uh, uh, causing some, some weight gain, and being completely off my diet since this thing started hasn't helped either, and uh, finding out that you know when you go through this, uh, not much tastes very good, or you can't taste anything at all, but... Uh, I can taste sweets, and so I've eaten quite a bit of those. You know, <laughs> Halloween was right around the corner, and uh, I definitely uh, was thankful for all the work my kids put in and getting all that candy because I have enjoyed it. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it for for this update. Things are going good. Um, uh, it's nice to have some energy again. I'm pretty bored uh, sitting around here uh, at the house, uh, being quarantined in here when I'm neutropenic and all that, especially when I'm feeling good. Uh, but we're getting there. We got two more months, um, uh, you know, four more or two more cycles, four poisonings to get through, and then um, one more PET scan uh, a month later after the last one to make sure everything's okay. Then we'll get this port out of my chest, um, and then uh, uh, rebuild my life. So uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to being done with all this. Um, not sure when I will do another update, maybe when I have uh, something else to report. One thing I, I guess I can see here uh, and notice in this video is I'm starting to grow some facial hair again, and quite a bit of it. Um, you know, that had stopped for a long time. Um, also, you know, I'm growing it on my head. Uh, it's got some color to it. Um, so that I don't know if that is uh, just being off the uh, experimental drug for a month. Um, and the other chemos don't necessarily cause hair loss, um, or maybe my body is just getting used to it, but you'll see here, if I can squint up close, I have lost just about all of my eyelashes. Uh, I just noticed that this morning, now the shower and putting my contacts in is that, uh, sometime in the last couple of days, despite all this hair growing in, these all fell out, so, <laughs> I've got like half a, half a thin row on this side here, I've got nothing down here, nothing, oh, there's like little, two little hairs here, and a couple up here, so I guess I gotta wait for those to grow back, and protect my eyes, and in the meantime, I guess I'll just wear my contacts a lot more, uh, anyway, that's it, um, uh, Anyone who's watching this, uh, who's going through the same thing, maybe you're a couple steps before me, um, or just getting into this, 
hang in there. Uh, you get through it. Um, like I said, I'm not excited about having to go four more times, especially after being given the good news that uh, it looks like I'm clear, but gotta, gotta get it done. Um, so will you. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, there's light at the end of the tunnel. We're getting a step closer. So just uh, keep on trucking and you'll get there. All right. So until next time, guys, see you later.